Alright guys, before this video even starts, I just want to say, if you guys watch to the end, and if you guys follow all four steps, you guys can easily make this much money and way more. Alright, so I'm talking cash. Way more money than this, though. If you guys follow all the steps, so just watch to the very end. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you guys get notified every single time I drop a new video for you. Okay, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can make all this money. Okay, so it's really not that hard. So the way that I made all this money, or at least most of this money, is with a lawn care business. And I actually haven't even started mowing my neighbor's lawns yet. I just mow my grandpa's lawn and my dad's lawn. And I've made quite a bit of money out of it so far. Alright guys, so step one into making your own lawn care business is inform your parents that you would like to start a lawn care business. And maybe offer to cut their lawn for a much cheaper price that you'd charge your neighbors. So say you charge your neighbors, I'd say you charge them about either 25 bucks or 30 bucks, depending on how big their lawn is. But say you char you'd um, mow your parents' lawn for um, $10 just because you're getting practice. So once you get practice and once you get good enough mowing your parents' lawn and say your grandpa's lawn, your family's lawn, then you can move on to step two. And um, step two involves neighbors, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so keep in mind, throughout this video, I'm not trying to brag at all. I am no different from you guys. You guys can make the exact same amount of money as me, if not even more, because I'm not even cutting my neighbor's lawn yet, and I'm making that much money. So just imagine what you guys could do with a little bit of time and effort and uh, mowing all your neighbor's lawns. So if you want to figure out how you can make all the money I showed you at the start, plus more, um, continue to watch this video today. So step number two to starting your lawnmower business is instead of handing out flyers like most people will do, actually go up to the door, knock to the door, and the best thing that you could possibly do to get your sales going is actually talk to the people. All right, you can hand them one in person, and you're just much more likely to get a sale, okay? If they aren't home, obviously hang it on the doorknob. I would not suggest putting it in the mail because, you know, personally, I see something in the mail. I'm just going to go put it right in the trash, right? Sorry, guys, a little battery. All right, so if you, if the person is not home, you got to hang it right on the door, okay? And But it's definitely would be, it would definitely help way more if you just hand them the flyer. They're much more likely to call you back, okay? And, Guys, so step number three is good customer service, okay, guys? So be really friendly, okay? So when you're communicating with whoever is your customer, you got to be really, really friendly so that they want to bring you back, okay? There's no point of being, like, you know, kind of stubborn or, like, you know, not very, not very easy to talk to. And that will result in them not wanting to bring you back. They'll hire somebody else. And before you know it, everybody, the word will go around and your lawn mowing business will be no more, okay? So not only do you have to be really kind when you're talking to um, your customers, you also have to do a really good job. Say you miss like five patches, okay? I guarantee you they will not call you back to do it again. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to build an income stream that keeps coming and coming, okay? So every single week they're calling you back to mow their lawn and you just, that money's coming, right? So if you mess up the first time and you leave a bad impression I guarantee they will not want to call you back so do it good the first time so you get right, called guys back. so before we get into step number four I just want to say I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where people are making $300 a day so it really just depends on how much you do okay so you could set the price range at 150 you could go up to 300 it really just depends how much you're willing to do in a single day okay now let's roll on to step number four <laughs> So step number four is take into consideration how much fuel will cost you, okay? So say you make $20 per lawn you mow, but the fuel costs like $3, so like just take that into consideration. You're not going to be making $150 per day. You might make a little bit less, depends on how much work you do, but factor in the cost of fuel and all that good stuff, okay? So you're not making up front $30, you're making say like $27, okay? 
So if you guys have followed step one through four and you guys now have a successful lawn care business, I want to congratulate you because you have set up a stream of income to help benefit you in the future that a lot of kids do not have, okay? So you've taken the financial initiative in your life, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys really enjoyed this, please share this and like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll make another video. I'll make a part two of this if you guys enjoy this video, okay? Um, this video took a lot of effort to make, so it really mean a lot if you guys would subscribe, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.